You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week, and I'm gonna play Resident Evil on the PlayStation Classic. And I'm using the resume point from when I... Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. When I played this uh, initially on the, my first... Uh, on my second video, actually, about the PlayStation Classic. But let's see if I still remember this game. Man, the blurriness. Find anything, Jill? It's kinda. Nothing. What is this all about? This is blurrier than usual. I mean, the other games looked okay. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, he can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And Jill, here's the lock pick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. Well, it's the Resident Evil that... Uh, I should say we used to love. Um, I didn't really... play the like the newer ones and I know that sounds really terrible um, I know the sixth one I played the demo of that and that one had terrible reviews because they kind of turned it into an action game already I know f the fourth and fifth one are critically acclaimed Hmm. I never really played them though. Oh. That's stupid. I didn't know there were Let's see if I could still do this. Yeah, crawl. Big for your life. All right. Saved a few bullets there. Although I guess you could just really run around it. And leave it there. Now this one I could admit I screamed when I first encountered this one. I was honestly surprised. It's nice it's nice that a game keeps you alert. Alright. Is this the one? Yep. Yeah, I'm not. I can't even remember what I'm supposed to find here. <laughs> there should be something. There was a reason why you could push that. I can't remember. Well, at least the 
went with the director's cut even though this apparently is the censored director's cut because this had a few fixes um, you have the auto turn around I guess all right maybe it was this one yep let's see what we got uh, some clips See, I ha uh, when you play this on a on the original console and you have an upscaler, the problem there is when you every time you press the pause and you go to the screen, it changes resolution. So if you play it on an upscaler, that means it will keep on loading. I, I mean, it, um, it will try to. You'll see a black screen for a moment, and it's really distracting on the gameplay. Nice. And I remember Capcom taking a lot of heat because they released a censored director's cut. So they apparently don't know the true meaning of a director's cut, I guess. Oh, I remember it. this should play out a bit different because it's the director's cut. Yeah, that wasn't in the... Ugh. Oh, I'm bad at this game now. I'm really bad at this game now. Danger. I'm dying, apparently. Um, let's see. Now, what was the guy doing here before he turned into a zombie, anyway? Okay. This, um, I can't recall. This was one of the PAL games, right? I'm, I guess I'm beginning to get used to running things at 50 frames per second. That's funny. Ah, damn it. Whew. Oh, nice. Didn't know I can do that. Well, it is slower than what I recall, but uh, as I mentioned, I'm getting used to it. It's not bothering me that much anymore. But yeah, because this game doesn't really require that much timings and precision. Unlike other games. And the frame rate isn't that bad. Um, unlike... Uh, it's really with Ridge Racer Type 4, I really s see a huge performance issue there. And uh, Metal Gear as well. For this one, it hey, doesn't feel that bad. Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Barry? Help me, please! The door won't open! Quick! Stay away from 
So who needs uh, keys and uh, lock picks if you could just kick everything down? I know they should have let us play Barry instead. That was too close. You were almost as jizz as Samuel. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. I think they're gonna have like a remake of this as well based on the release on the GameCube version. That would be, I don't know, scary. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to try it anymore if it's going to be too scary. <laughs> Can't even run to the door. Uh, I'm sorry you all had to see that. I'm gonna chalk it up to inexperience. I mean, not inexperience, but uh, it's been a while. Anyway, I think that's it for this video. And, um, Resident Evil is great. Two is better. And three is uh, not bad as well. Any of the three would have been a good inclusion on the PlayStation Classic. If I had to pick one, though, uh, I would have chose the second one. Because it's two discs, and I hate dealing with multiple discs. At least here, it's all like within the um, storage. And also that way, due to with the virtual memory and uh, resume points, it's easier to deal with the, uh, you know, you, when you finish the game, you have to switch to the other character and all. So anyway, that's it. Um, I'm glad we did get uh, a Resident Evil representation as opposed to having none at all that's it uh, you're watching 8-bit days a week and please do hit the subscribe like and uh, leave your comments thanks for watching see you in the next video